First of all, I want to say you're beautiful looking. Thank you. I've always loved the Nana Muscuri look, the very kind of Greek with glasses. Oh, that and singer one where you see her albums in the store and you're like, yes. who's that? She must be very famous and she has the big glasses. And they the augment body. beautiful eyes and a, and, a, and a perfect face. Yes. Huh. What do you, why is David Letterman mean? What's he got to be so bitter about? I actually don't think he is mean. And why does he appear mean, Janine Garofalo? I'm sorry? I said, why does he appear mean, Janine Garofalo? I can't, I can't understand what you're saying. He seems like he has a scowl. And he comes out and he does that, that, you know, he tries to touch his toes, which I think, I've seen. Merv did it. I think that uh, he doesn't appear mean. It's just that we're so used to seeing actors and stuff on TV being so fake nice that when somebody's actually being realistic or behaving normally, it seems as if they are being mean. But is that what, is that, is that, is that what, is that? Is that what we want to see as we're about to go away into sleepy land? Do we want to see a mean, scowly man? See, I don't find him mean and scowly. I, fi I find him to be in interesting. And when you've made these observations on Letterman, have you written them down in your notes to be taken on stage later? Is that what a Janine Garofalo does as the queen of Gen X? I'm not Gen X. You are, how come? I'm 36 years old. No, <laughs> just <laughs> like Monroe when she was found with that entire, with Lee Harvey Oswald. Upper. With a grassy knoll up her uh, book suppository. You were in SNL, mm -hmm. and, you, and you called it a wonderful woman's club, where you did comedy with the likes of... Miss Lucille Ball, the first lady of American Lucy. comedy. Lucy! And you worked around the slur? Around the slur? Gary, Gary Villian. Because, you know, she, Are ball. you talking about <laughs> Penny Marshall or Lucille oh, no, Ball? No. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about Penny Marshall. No, no, no. I'm, oh, you're talking about Lucille Ball, the yes. wonderful redhead. Yes, the yes. The redhead who could do physicality. Yes. And how was she? Was she fun? Wonder, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. And you work with Mary Gross. And Lorna Luft. Lorna Luft. Why would she write a book about her mama, Judy Garland? Because it seems that when mama was gone and suddenly said Luft is left, yes. why would Lorna Luft write such a book about mama, me and my shadow? So is it wrong to write books if you're a child of a celebrity and your mother was a secretary so you have no real issue? Right, I can't, see, I can't make money off a book about my mother. Please, no. oh, I'll get those copies. I mean, that's exactly. not, there's no history there. Although my mom did win, um, this is true story, my mother did win a number of um, uh, fastest typist and fastest shorthand competitions. Mm, that should make a good Fox movie. <laughs> but basically, I think hindsight is very backward thinking. Any thoughts? I think that's inherently what please. hindsight is, is. Keep that because I bet it's going to be good. Backward Hello. Thinking. Oh, hi, Dixie. How are you? Is that your wife? D Dixie's my wife. And <laughs> she's my lover. She's my lady. <laughs> no, 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 no. Twister is on the third shelf. Yes. Behind uh, Me and My Shadows, Lauren Love book. Okay, thanks for talking with you. I love you and Mark Russell, and I think you're very similar. Why is that? You know Mark Russell wears that straw hat. And, the oh, political the humorous. Deficit. Yeah. Oh, the deficit. Russ Feingold Bill. The Russ yeah. Feingold Bill. <laughs> Man overboard. Where, Somebody help him. Where the hell did Janine Garofalo go? I'm behind you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. Like I'm doing Pocahontas and a, some sort of touring company, Peter Pan, which I loved. Mary Martin was a drunk, you knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you something about your film debut. Yeah. Late for dinner. I said that'll be 11:50, please. That was your line, you and Roddy McDowell. No, 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 no. It was me and Peter, Peter Berg. Coyote. Peter Berg. Peter Berg. Peter Berg. And uh, Brian Wimmer, the guy from China Beach. Brian Wimmer from China Beach. Yes. Oh my goodness, I remember seeing you in. Bye bye, Braverman. Bye whatever. bye, love. And you're with the wonderful Randy Quaid. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. What about Randy Quaid and his brother Dennis? Do you think Dennis will get back with what's your face? Meg Ryan? No. Andy McDowell. Andy McDowell! <laughs> Do you think they'll always stay together? I think he'll be back with Andy McDowell. Now, you, uh, we. Oh, you, hang on. You, I've been sweating like a... Now, you just touch one of your tattoos. Well, I get ink poisoning. No, that wasn't, I didn't touch a tattoo. Oh, and, I see. I used now, my why, sleeve. So why are you covered in tattoos? Don't you worry that as you age, like Cher, you want them removed? Because that tight, firm tattoo might become a... Kind of a sinking... And I don't mean this negatively. Uh -huh. I wouldn't go there. But sometimes well, tattoos, as people age, is it a good thing? I've already started aging. No. You're timeless to me. Do but you know how old I am? I'm going to say 43. No. 36. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my... Just like Norma Jean Baker. Yes. And she was found nude, reading a book all about suppositories, and, and Dean, Dean Martin wasn't there, and Sammy was on the road.
Are you okay? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. From this angle, do you know who you look like? A young Elizabeth Taylor? Kiss me. 